Okay, so we're lighting the fire. We have a hole actually in the back of the wall. We're lighting the fire from the uh, from the outside. Uh, this is to simulate a drape. So perhaps uh, we we have a lit cigarette that has been dropped into a trash can. Now there, the smoke alarm has gone off. That's probably less than 15 seconds. The temperature right now at the ceiling. After we're not, we're just coming up on 15 seconds now. Now begin to notice the smoke. Notice how thick that smoke is. At this point, uh, the room would be totally unsurvivable, uh, both from the heat and those toxic fumes that are being produced. You can see the heat is now beginning to uh, buckle the plastic on the top. Okay, now the temperature at this point is probably reaching up to about a thousand degrees. All right, in a moment, if you look at the newspaper on the floor, when that ignites, that's about when flashover will occur, which is just about now. Okay, now we are full flashover now. The room is fully engulfed, and the firefighters are going in to extinguish. Now folks, the total elapsed time on that, from the ignition to the time we began putting the fire out, was one minute and 30 seconds. So when, when people say you don't have much time to get out of a burning house, now you can see why. Okay, and there again, we go. No accelerants of any kind were used. That was just paper two and fabric. Same scenario with a sprinkler. Now here again, should hear the smoke alarm go off first. 15 to 20 seconds. There's the smoke alarm. We're about uh, 25 to 30 seconds in now. And there goes the sprinkler. It activated. And the fire is well contained, probably out at this point. We're gonna go ahead and shut down the, uh, the sprinklers themselves now. Okay, now what happened here is when the temperature in that room got up to about 135 degrees, it activated the sprinkler. Now, in 90% of the cases, only one sprinkler head goes off. So yes, there is a bit of water damage, but the water damage that a single sprinkler head causes compared to the kind of damage you'd have going into a blazing room like this with fire hoses is minimal.